Um, my name's Jared. I'm an undergrad here at Clemson. Um, hoping to get into grad school pretty soon. Uh, I really want to study commutative algebra and number theory. It's kind of my jam. So we have some questions from one of my students. So we are going to ask Jared each one of them. So the first question is, what type of style of study techniques do you find most useful while in college? Um, I would say the most useful study style or technique would be learning what your actual learning style is. People learn things, people learn visually, some people are more auditory learners, some people learn by example. Um, one thing I really noticed about myself is I learn rather inductively with uh, inductive reasoning as opposed to deductive reasoning. So what that means is I, when I come across a problem, I solve that problem or I figure out steps and then I do another example. And it builds up until like you see the general trend. Whereas with deductive reasoning, you start with the general trend and a professor gives you like a discrete or small example. And but my brain just doesn't work like that because I'm weird. <laughs> That's a very good answer. So what is one specific piece of advice that you learn in college throughout your experience that you would share or even go back if you could and tell your past self? Um a uh, specific advice that I would give myself would be to um, take study seriously and not wait till your senior year. <laughs> um, do better, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what did you find the best way to keep track of your homework? Was it a daily planner or a monthly calendar? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, so when I first started um, as a freshman and sophomore, I didn't really have a schedule and I just kind of did things that they never do. And that didn't always work out so well for me. Um, but now that I'm a little bit more seasoned, uh, I usually try to keep like a daily task of the assignments I have to do today or like signs I have to come up fairly soon. And I'm a little bit more organized now. Some assignments still take a little longer than others, but that's to be expected sometimes. Okay, lastly, what is the best way to try and experience all the things Clemson has to offer while not overwhelming yourself? Essentially, how did you find your balance? Um, have I found my balance? <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a good question. It's probably a difficult question. Um, I would probably suggest um, finding out what works to your specific learning style or your personality or however you like to do things. I don't really have a good answer to this question because I just sit in my room and do math and see all the other majors on the weekends party and just, you know, like, I'm not going to go down that hole. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a lot of things to offer at Clemson and you just have to find your niche and go after what you really enjoy and hopefully you meet some, a lot of cool friends. Okay, thank you so much, Sarah, for joining me today. And